Hey, welcome to another edition of I Can Fix That. What you're looking at there is a 2006 Lincoln Town Car. And the problem with that car is the motor for the air suspension broke. What will happen if I don't replace the motor is the air bags in the back for the suspension will deflate and I'll end up having to buy some fuzzy dice because I'll look like a low rider driving around town. So let's go ahead and fix this. So in order to fix this, we gotta go in my trunk. I'll show you the trunk right there. I'll push that button and that opens up the trunk. What we wanna do is shut off this switch right here in the trunk. That's for the suspension. So I shut that off. That way the, the motor can't kick on, even though this one won't kick on because it's broke. But by the way, I already got it out of the box and that's the baby that we'll be replacing right here. Let's bring that over here and I'll sh show you where it kind of goes. Let's open the hood, pop the hood. All right. Oh, don't you love the way these, look at that. So easy, you don't have to go digging around trying to find it. But the bad boy we're gonna switch, here's the engine on the driver's side. If you look down in that hole, I'll come away so you can see, it's located right there, right down in there. That's where we're digging in. So we're gonna have to take this off right here. It's not too big of a deal. Um, I think I can fix it. We're gonna take off this deal right here, which is the air filter. Oh, I gotta take that off. That's what I gotta do. This has gotta come off. Sorry for kicking that. Um, that's gotta come off, and I see this right here. Uh-oh. I'm gonna to wanna to remove that as well. That's giving me a little trouble of this coming off. So I'm just gonna take this off, which I can get at right here. I know I can pull that off right here. There, that's off there. Now maybe I can flip this around and see if I can get it off, because that will not come off. Well. If it don't want to come off, maybe it doesn't have to. I'll work around it. Okay, that's still out of the way. Uh, and we're moving on. Comes out. One, two, there's a third one down there. I don't know if you can see it. But these guys right here, I put a 9 16th on this. It might be something in the metric family, but this 916 seems to work out real. It works, loosen, and I can snap them loose. Again, in the metric world, it might be something different, but it, it seems to get a good enough bite where I can get the, the screwdriver on there. Success. So this guy comes off, voila. Now, if you want to look down there with me at Mr. Motor. That's Mr. Motor down there, getting a new... Let me tell you what I did. I, the motor had already broke and my car looked like a low rider. Uh, I was thinking about buying some fuzzy dice to put in the rear view mirror, but then I said, hey, I got a brainstorm. Why don't I take my pump? Just because I was in a pinch, I didn't have time to fix it. I took this pump, disconnected the motor from there and the air hose, and I put them on this, sat the motor down, and was able to pump up the back, and believe it or not, it lasted for like over a week. And I would show you that my tires are down, but uh, my airbags are down in the back, but I, I don't have to, because they won't go down. That's how good the system is now. So anyway, that's why this is already disconnected. And the hose is already disconnected, this already. I already did that. So now I gotta go in here and remove three bolts. And believe it or not, they're not gonna be friendly, they're underneath. The three bolts holding this thing on are underneath the car. 
being a backyard hack kind of guy, trying to fix all your stuff yourself, I don't have a lift. Um, so uh, I got the next best thing. So to help me out a little bit, because I got to go under the car at the front part, I just put it on this. Take a look at that. We took the three bolts from at the bottom off, and this thing pulls right up like this. Look at that. Comes out so easily. I took the hose off the old one, off this unit, and I put it on here. But you see how this had a grommet here? Because it's the original manufacturer and is built probably better, of course, than this little knockoff. But uh, you know, it's a used car, and uh, what the heck. By the time this motor burns out on this pump, uh, hopefully, That'll be a lot many years down the road. So anyway, this, instead of going through the grommet, you're just going to have to feed it past there, spin it around, and fit it right on that fitting, which is right over here. You'll see it. We took the other one out, and this guy's coming back. Let me get this out of here. A little leaf's debris. This thing just sits right in here three spots. Boom. It'll pop right in. Hopefully. Oh, I felt it go in. So that's it there. This guy goes on right here. Hopefully you can see that. The electro connect connection is uh, right here. And it's, uh, it's fairly easy. Let me see. Once it gets on tight, you'll see it click. Those little guys lock it in. So that's done. And then we take our beautiful little nylon. This is this pumps it acts. This is actually the pump part. This guy right here. It's a good thing we have a little, I haven't bolted it down yet. You get that in there and push it down. There it is. Now to make it come out, when I was disassembled, I didn't show you that. Let me show you how that comes out. Hang on, get a screwdriver. To get that to come out, you take a screwdriver and you push down on that right there. You push down on the orange and pull it out. See it come out a little bit? I don't wanna take it all the way out, but that's how you bring it out. So that lets in, it's in there. We're gonna go downstairs and bolt it in. Okay, I got the bolts tightened up on that. Take a look down at the new motor or pump, so to speak. And that's it. I still never got that off, which I can uh, work around, but I'll show you what it should, looks like from this side. Now it's just sitting in there. Now we just gotta put that cover back, which are three bolts, because I connected that already and I connected that. So we're looking good there. Got okay, right here. Fill the dirt out of there. That's the intake, so it's towards the front of the car. Kind of sits like this. In there. Four B square goes on like a dream. Look at that, just like that. So that's only three bolts. One, two. You can use your hand, get them all the way down before you need the wrench. And by the way, I did find the right wrench. It's, a, it's an 11 millimeter to take these off and a 10 millimeter to take the ones off below. I always wish someone would tell me that when I'm trying to fix something. So I have spent all that time figuring out what socket. Okay, so I got that right there, and I can spin it with my hand all the way till it gets tight. And as I always tell my kids, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So we're going right. Now you don't want to do the Hulk Hogan torque on these either because you'll snap that thing off. There's really not it's just plastic, just mildly see my hand isn't down on the wrench where I can get a lot of torque on it 
There. She's in. Home stretch. Still good. Boom. Now this guy's going to go back in here. Should be. But there's a thing. All right. All right, there it is. I got it. I got it into those fingers. Now it'll clamp down like this. But let's get this pushed back. And boom. Now we could work this thing on there. A little magic working that on. Oh, that's nice. This is down nice. Clamp one. Clamp two. Boom. And that's in perfect. Again, I wish I would have was able to take that off, but I was able to do a workaround. So, home stretch. In the world of tightening up the hose clamp. Once that's tight, double check everything. Again, go over it, plugged in. The air thing's plugged in, that's plugged in. That's check, 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 check. The bolts aren't underneath, they're all tight. I think we're done. There's only one more thing we gotta do. We gotta go back in and turn that back on in the trunk. Don't forget about that. That's the switch right there. It says off, I turned it back on. And you see, I'm gonna pull out so you can see where it's in the trunk, what part of the trunk it's at. Right over there. And that is uh, another job done by I think I can fix it. And I think I did fix it. Isn't she a babe? Look at her. Okay, that probably saved you, I don't know. The pump cost me 130. It was a knockoff pump, probably a real one cost, uh, if you bought the original equipment, 300 bucks, have it put in, at least 250. So you're looking at five, $600 job and it really isn't that tough. I'm gonna, on, on, the, on the toughness scale, I'm gonna give it about a, uh, a three, maybe a four, probably a three. Well, I hope you liked it. Uh, we'll talk to you soon if uh, more crap breaks, which it will. <laughs>